Noya Inu remains unbeaten against his toughest opponent yet, but for the first time, he suffered a knockdown. Despite emerging victorious, fans are concerned that Inu might contemplate retirement. Let's explore the speculation surrounding Inu's possible retirement and what lies ahead. Inu, a renowned fighter, faced a formidable challenge from Luis Neri. In a surprising turn of events, Inu was knocked down by a powerful punch from Neri in the first round. Nevertheless, he showed resilience and continued to fight on. Straight right hand. Didn't really put a whole lot of torque on it, just snapped it. And it had that type of effect. And then it's there. Ain't I turned to you and said, Timmy, what's going to be the finishing shot here? <laughs> right as I pause, <laughs> he sent the right hand. After securing victory, Anu remained in the ring and shared his thoughts through a translator. He expressed gratitude for the knockdown, stating that it motivated him, and thanked Neri for the opportunity to fight at the Tokyo Dome. I don't remember what my dad told me during intermission. That happening gave me motivation, and I remained focused until the end of the fight, he said. With his consistent dominance in his current weight class, fans are eager to see Inu move up to the featherweight division. In an earlier statement, he hinted at making the transition by the end of this year, but emphasized that it would only happen when he felt ready, following his impressive victory. Former bantamweight champion Paul Butler shared his thoughts on Inu's weight division. Butler, who was Inu's last opponent in the bantamweight division, believes that if Inu hesitates to move up to the featherweight class, it's because he prefers comfort over facing tougher challenges. Inu became undisputed in the bantamweight division at the age of 31 after defeating Butler in December 2022. He then moved up to the super bantamweight division, where he achieved another undisputed title last year by defeating Marlon Tapps. This made him only the third boxer, alongside Terence Crawford and Caressa Shields, to achieve this feat in the era of four belt championships. Butler thinks that Inu might be hesitant to move to featherweight because he would face tougher opponents who could potentially defeat him and diminish his reputation. Staying in the super bantamweight division, where it's safer, might be Inu's way of avoiding such outcomes. Butler added that eventually size will beat him, and that's the case with LNA. You're treating greatness so much that eventually size will become a big part of the fight. I thought to capitalize on the moment, but Inu weathered the storm and even smiled as he returned to his corner. I'm fueled by challenges like this, he remarked after the fight, emphasizing the intensity of the match. It was an electrifying showdown, and I'm thankful for the opportunity to fight at the Tokyo Dome. He never shared that rather than shaking him, the unexpected knockdown actually helped him refocus. He admitted that I was a bit jittery in the beginning, but it helped me settle down afterwards. He stopped the fight without a count. Inu characterized the bout as a tough contest, mentioning his initial nerves. He reiterated that it was competitive. Inu's dominant performance once again solidified his status as one of boxing's top pound-for-pound -pound fighters, a position he has held in many major rankings, trailing only undisputed welterweight champion Terence Crawford. It also showcased his continued dominance in the super bantamweight division, hinting that his reign may endure until he decides to pursue new challenges. As the monster Inu continues to excel, the remaining questions revolve around his next moves and whether there is a challenger capable of halting his momentum. Notably, Anu hasn't fought a full 12 rounds since 2019, when he secured a unanimous decision victory over Nonito Donaire in the bantamweight division. The fact that Nonito was the first to knock him down underscores Inu's remarkable resilience and skill. <laughs> Real Casimero, Inu's rival, had his eyes glued to the fight, eagerly observing every move with intense focus. Hearing what he just said, look, I didn't understand a word he just said, it was all Japanese, but look, I, I've seen enough in the fight to, to know I can, uh, I can do what I need to do to win that fight. Uh, look, it's a massive opportunity for me, it's something very exciting, so look, uh, I'm on his radar. Of course Looks like Sam Goodman is next in line to challenge Inu. Goodman's holding the number one contender spot for the IBF and WBO titles and sits at seventh by the WBC in the super bantamweight category. He was right there at the fight, even stepping into the ring after Eno's victory. In front of the crowd, Eno expressed his interest in defending his titles against Goodman, eyeing a match around September. Goodman, an Australian boxer with an undefeated record of 18-0, 
voiced his readiness for the challenge, stressing that he's been the mandatory challenger for a year and it's time for Inu to either defend his belts or face him in the ring. With Inu's reputation as a dominant force in boxing, it's unlikely he'll shy away from facing Goodman. The native of Zama Kanagawa Prefecture has established himself as one of the top sports contenders. Inu's return to the Tokyo Dome marked a significant moment for boxing in Japan, reminiscent of the historic Tyson vs. Douglas fight in 1990. Inu's grand entrance, accompanied by pyrotechnics and a live guitar performance, set the stage for an electrifying showdown throughout the fight while dodging Inu's attacks. The crowd's response was overwhelmingly supportive of Inu, with some expressing disdain for her due to past controversies. Inu there, no need to get heated. Let's keep it cool. Inu's history of doping and weight issues led to his ban from fighting in Japan, resulting in boos from the audience. Upon his return to boxing in lighter weight divisions worldwide, he dismissed the idea of Inu Wei fighting outside Japan, stating it would be unwise given his popularity and success at home. However, Aram did mention the possibility of Inu fighting in Saudi Arabia. If the financial incentives were right, he hinted at the potential for big money matchups in the future, possibly in different weight classes. Inu might consider moving up to featherweight after his next fight. He has already achieved success in four different weight classes and is one of the few fighters to unify titles in multiple divisions. Aram mentioned the need to assess Inou's power at higher weights and indicated that Inou's team prefers him to stay at super bantamweight for the time being. Looking ahead, Aram suggested potential matchups with featherweight champions like IBF title holder Luis Lopez, but for now, Inou's focus remains on his upcoming bout with Goodman. With negotiations underway, Inu expressed his desire to make adjustments and prepare for his next fight, showing his commitment to continuous improvement and success in the ring.